Can I say something, by the way? I'm wary about criticizing or even observing anything about Hawaii because it really does look like, oh, the settler went to Hawaii and all of a sudden he's got like a to-do list of things to change. But I just want, I'm going to say it anyway and you can, I can't stop you from having a crazy reaction to it if you want to. Hawaii, the food is delicious. Do you ever think about toning it down just a little bit? Just a little bit? It's like every food is like the worst thing for your body ever. I thought I got muted there. It's like, hey, here's some Hawaiian bread. What are the ingredients? Sugar, flour, water. Now, you list them in order of weight. That's crazy. You got more sugar in the bread than, than water? Wait, than flour? <laughs> Poke is good? That is damn true. I mean, sweet potatoes. I was having a great time with the sweet potatoes. I was having a great time with the taro. I was not having a... Listen, it's, again, I'm just one guy, okay? This is just one man's opinion. The Joy-Con stopped working, by the way. That might be the end of our life here. Um, the Joy-Con is turned off. It is now back on. Fanta Have I been talking that long? <laughs> trying to think of what oh why, why does every meal come with macaroni salad you don't need macaroni salad with every single meal i mean i i get it but like it's, it's relatively tasty but would just relax on the mac salad a little bit the hawaiian sun juices are literally like just pure sugar shaved ice was crazy to me now i had some and it was fantastic don't get me wrong it's literally i i was almost too grossed out to eat it at first because like i'll eat ice cream no problem it's tasty plus you ever see that study that was like people who eat ice cream are thinner and nobody knows why but shaved ice literally it's just they they go under an ice machine and turn ice into slush and you're like okay that looks pretty good and then they take like three bottles of syrup and just go And so it's so like it's it's proliferated with basically just simple syrup and food coloring and i was like what is going on here and then they serve it with a spoon and they serve it with a straw because they're like after you after you finish all the ice you might just want to suck up all the syrup that's down in the bottom of the bowl and i'm like are you you think i'm gonna drink food coloring sweet syrup water like a damn Drosophila out of the bottom of this bowl? It's crazy. Anyway, I ate like a more of the shaved ice than I thought I would. At first I was like, I'm not gonna eat that. It looks like it'll kill me. Then I had like one bite and I was like, mmm, yummy. But then after like, I'll be honest with you, it was probably like 10 or 15 bites. But after 10 or 15 bites, I was like, nah, it feels like it's gonna kill me. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then Kate was like, come on, eat some more. Eat some more. I don't want to leave like a big mess. It's disrespectful. I'm like, <laughs> you're the one who ordered it. I was happy with one scoop of coconut ice cream. I'm just like, I think it'd go like a little hard. Hey, Hawaiians, you ever have those uh, Leonard's Malasadas? Those were pretty good. You try any shrimp trucks? Kate, is this like a thing? Are we in the wrong? So we went on a, <laughs> we went on a quote unquote food tour that was billed as, oh, what have I done? It was billed as um, like a tour of Oahu through food. Now, what it ended up being was like, we ate three times in eight hours and we went to a lot of like beautiful nature sites, which is fine. It was beautiful nature, don't get me wrong. Um, but instead they had us, I, I was kind of thrown, I guess, and not necessarily in a bad way. I, w I thought we would be eating like once an hour for the whole day. I was so ready. But anyway, long story short, first place the food truck, uh, the, food, the food tour took us to was a Walgreens somewhere in, o in Oahu. Thank God it was in Ohio. Ohio? Ohio? Um, so we went to a, a Walgreens and then he said, you guys go into the Walgreens and shop. I'm going to get you some donuts. And I I was like, what the hell is going on here? 
I, anyway, he gave us the donuts and they were like some of the most delicious donuts I've ever had in my life. But I was like, really? Step one is like a, a food truck outside of a pharmacy in, the <laughs> in a Walgreens parking lot? But they were Leonard's Malasadas. They were good. And when I, I had a feeling the place was good, okay? Because when we got there, there were like three people in line. And then the people that were going to get in the line saw the bus pull up and said, you know what, like, fuck that, we'll come back later. Like, they were like, we're not going to deal with this wait for sure. But then for lunch, you know, we drove past a lot of places. I don't, I don't live in Hawaii, okay? But we drove past a lot of places that looked really nice. Um, and then he drove us into what looked like, I don't know, it was made of like a, a, a pavilion made of corrugated aluminum with like nine stationary food trucks and a, a like a thatched roof with a couple of picnic tables. And he said, I'm just going to get you guys like one garlic shrimp order for each of you. And I said, okay. And we're just sitting out there in the, in what felt like no man's land. The garlic shrimp was like pretty good. You know it was good because they, they didn't fucking take the the peel off. They didn't devein that shit. They didn't even take the legs off. I was crunching up the whole thing. I know that place, LOL, is good. Listen, you gotta also remember we just got off a cruise where there's like no culture whatsoever. It's literally like the closest they come to culture is they're like, we got someone to sing some Hawaiian songs today. So we would like. That was completely sterile, and then all of a sudden we're out here going, like, what's going on? And then they took us to Honolulu Beer Works. And I have to say, without being rude, you still got a little ways to go to catch up to the Pacific Northwest. I'm just saying, maybe it's, it was good. Maybe it was just the, the flight that they gave us. Maybe they gave us the cheap stuff because they thought we were not discerning individuals. They didn't know we were from Vancouver. But I was just saying, I think the Pacific Northwest was still kind of... We were ahead in that one. We're way behind on the Malasadas, though. PNW be like, yeah, it's an IPA. Is there any other kinds? That's such an antiquated take. That's probably what this shit is like in Comstock, Michigan right now. Because they just got introduced to hops. Finally made it from the coast. They're brewing all sorts of fucked up shit that actually sucks out here. They're brewing gozes and fucking weird ass... Rambutan, Rattlers, and stuff like that. It's not all IPAs out here. They have double IPAs, too. They even have some triple IPAs if you just want to, you know, die, basically. Comstock crying right now. They should actually be flattered, because the reason I know about Comstock, Michigan, is because of the beer known as Two-Hearted Ale, which is fucking... A, it's a slapper. Michigan got... They definitely broke the mold with that one. Oberon clears. Listen, we're not talking about Game of Thrones anymore, okay? Did Kate, how do, how do these people know me so well? Did you try the coconut porter when you were in Hawaii? I did indeed. I, I thought it was delicious, but my wife ordered uh, a pineapple ale. I ordered the coconut porter. I had a sip of the coconut porter and I said, that's delicious. She said, take a sip of mine. I said, oh, fuck that. Yours is way better. Then the server said, do you guys need a refresh on your drinks? And I said, obviously, but give me one of hers, please. The porter was still good, but I mean, the, the pineapple ale kind of dunked on it. I, if we're going to play Liza P, I got to go get a Coke Zero, but just give me a second here. I love it when he becomes Mario. His name's Mario, and he bounces on the shells. Some of these levels are hotter than the hotter than the hells. And when he spins, he can survive a spiny shell. Mario, Rio, please do better, please do well. Don't 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 don't. 